Hello, hello, and welcome to the finals of Glasgow's oh, first regional. This is Steve Dolman here, and I'm against James Cunningham, who's come up from the the lands to the south to try and steal our territory. That's that's how this goes. How did I not sold? So uh, yeah, it was top eight today, and I have made it through a two nil and a two nil. And yourself, two nil, two nil. Three two, two nil, two nil. Right. Okay. Sounds a really fine answer. Sounds good. Would you like odds or evens or high roll? Do high roll. High roll sounds good. Adds drama. Well, Until I roll a six. Three. And a five. Okay, that's pretty high, Octane. I'll go first. Have a good one. But I won't go first with that. I believe in quick decisions. Okay. And you too. I have seen hands that contain better things. Hmm. I'm not really sure how I feel about this, but since I know what you're against, or I know what I'm, I'm against, we'll scout it. It's against Dom and Trolls, huh? It's hard not to scout at a region. <laughs> Sid reigns and Laswell for Genesis. BB for a Sage, give him haste. And I'll go to combat and attack on Genesis. I'll pass there. Oh, Yuri, yeah, that's a bit of a brick. Oh, ninja! Okay. Exciting stuff. I'll go to combat and attack on Genesis. Ah, okay. Good, nice. <laughs> Another Yuri, okay. And I would quite like to play a normal game at some point, so I'm going to chuck away a Sabin for an Edgar and pass just there. I always feel this matchup gets a tiny bit easier if Yuna doesn't come down by turn 2 or turn 3 or so. I think there's a little bit of a clock in how feasible it is to hold certain cards in hand with the intention of pitching them for Yuna. We'll see how convenient it is to have Genesis around. Illyria, okay. Moral Wind game. Sure. If nothing else, it's some Wind CP. Those Yuris aren't really going to be doing too much yet. Absolutely. Cool. And what do we have here? Ah, oh, that is interesting. I'll go to combat and attack on Genesis. Cool. And I'll just pass down there. Makes me wonder what you've got planned with this. Spooky Chilinka. <laughs> you have got your choice of Black Waltz, Veritas, or Veritas. Okay, uh, lose Black Waltz. Lose the thing that isn't a Veritas. Okay. Right, uh, so I'll be holding, holding my phone awkwardly in my ear. So okay. As much as some of this stuff is really interesting and I would like to play it, I don't know if I can when I've got a Veritas sitting in hand like like a Veritas. How many do you have in hand? Three. I'm going to chuck away a Castilian Empire set in the Laswell. For a Veritas. Let's go for the foily one, why not? And I'll go to combat and attack on Genesis. Cool. I'll pass just there. I would really love the ability to curve out a little bit more than this, but I feel like I need to pressure your hand to the point where you just can't sculpt anything. Should I get two to board? Two to board? Sure. 
Palafor three to board. And a three to board. Shoot out us. What would you like to attack? Lose the area. Okay. Pass. Hmm. Intriguing. Nothing in hand, no? No, empty. Let's do six for Veritas. And I'll go to combat and attack on Genesis. You are more than welcome to draw a card on Mill 1. That's fine. <laughs> in that case, I'll just pass there. Oh, that's good. That you? Too fast for me. Steve D is nothing if not unduly fast. I swear I tried to play normal games during Swiss, and I would reach five backups like a civilized person some of the time, and then, no, you're not allowed to draw backups, or, yeah, like, I have to put on pressure quickly against Waterwind because it is a, fundamentally a better deck that has a more exciting and more intriguing late game and just does stuff that I don't have available or I, I can't really match. So I need to get those Vilfors out of your hand. I need to stop you curving into Fina, or I lose. So... You basically go for the really fast hands that can do exciting things. Most exciting thing the deck does is lock on turn two with a discard, but I suppose Hasty Genesis sometimes does that too. Uh, all, all you have to do is put, you know, pull the plug on, on your opponent's hand and watch it drain away. Got the discards are fine, but it's when you can't scope into any sort of backup. Like... For sure, yeah, and I think that when the first Veritas died and you were then forced to go back down on backups it's virtually impossible against any kind of pressure to ever go back up on backups once your opponent before they've reached five is forced to go back down game two coming right up 